Yay! I've been wanting to film this for like a month now. Um, I just haven't built up the courage. <laughs> so about a month ago, a little over a month ago now actually, um, just out on a whim, I decided to take a pregnancy test and <laughs> I'm pregnant. <laughs> there it goes. I'm pregnant. Um, yeah, so about a month ago, we found out that Jake and I had found out we are pregnant. I was on May 3rd. Um, three seemed to be our lucky number for some reason. We found out we were expecting Riley on Friday the 13th. She was born on the 3rd, and now we found out the 3rd of November, and now we found out that we're expecting again on the 3rd of uh, May. <laughs> so, uh, crazy. Um, but yeah, we're pregnant. I am nine weeks, two days today. My pregnancy app says that the baby is the size of a green olive, <laughs> which I hate olives, so ew. Um, what does the other one say? Let's see, just for funsies. Okay, this one says the size of a walnut, so I'd rather go with that one because I like walnuts. I don't like olives. Um, <laughs> so yeah, nine weeks, two days, and actually I got the courage to film this video today because um, for the past week, two weeks, I have been trying my hardest to, every few days, to find baby's heartbeat. I have a um, home Doppler, and I bought this when I was pregnant with Riley, and with Riley, I found her heartbeat at like seven weeks, three days. Um, really early um, and this little baby for some reason wouldn't let me hear it until today and like I said I'm nine weeks two days so today is the first day that I laid down and within not even like five minutes I found it um, it was crazy I found it like almost right away um, yeah I got a little recording of that it's not the best clip but you can hear it so I'm gonna insert that Um, but yeah, I don't know that just made it feel so much more real for some reason um, Which is crazy because I've already had ultrasounds um, So the first ultrasound I went to we didn't see anything we saw a sac um, and But there wasn't else there wasn't much else to see I was only like five weeks and they did an, uh, an external one so one like on my belly um, and I, we couldn't see anything. So they were like, we'll come back in a week and we'll see if we can see something. So we went back in a week and we saw a baby. Um, I don't know if you can kind of tell. It's kind of hard to see. That right there, that's baby. A little white dot, that's the yolk sac. Um, the other picture looks pretty much exactly the same. Um, we saw a baby and we saw what flicker looked like a heartbeat but we couldn't hear anything and she couldn't like 110% confirm it um so we went back in a week and a half after that and we finally saw a better again it was they don't they had feel like an internal one but only on like Wednesdays or something like that um they did another external one so none of these pictures are very clear um and we finally saw a baby uh, for sure and heard the heartbeat loud and clear um so that was about a week and a half ago i believe may 30th and today's the 8th so like a week ago um so i knew the heartbeat was there and i knew i i knew like it was okay but like being able to hear it on my own is like totally different for me for some reason i have no idea why but yeah, so I was doing a semi-decent job at tracking like um, symptoms and stuff, but I haven't really had any to be honest. Um, in the beginning, um, my the first thing I noticed was probably my uh, heightened sense of smell. 
Like I could smell everything. It was insane and it was so annoying. And I can still smell everything, but I think now I'm becoming more like used to it to where it's not bothering me as much. Um, like insane, like standing in the kitchen, all the way in our living room by our TV, there's a candle. It hasn't been lit since like October. Um, and I could smell it unlit. Just I can smell it as if like I'm holding that thing up to my nose. That's how insane it is. Uh, <laughs> like that, like heightened sense of smell like crazy. Um, the other one that I noticed that is still like bothering me is um, I am so tired. I wake up at around 9, 9.30 and come three o'clock, I am dead. Dead to the world. Like I cannot, I just can't. Um, <laughs> I can't do anything. I need to like lay down and like, <sighs> like I was at Target like about two weeks ago and I literally thought I was gonna fall asleep walking, like just pushing the cart. Like I had, like we went down the toilet aisle and I just sat down in the middle of the aisle and I was just like, okay, I'm just gonna sit here for a minute. Um, but yeah, another one I've noticed is also I've been losing hair like crazy and not that that's an issue really cause I have hair to lose. Um, I have a lot of hair. Um, but like when I'm showering, it's just, it's coming out like crazy, which is insane. Cause I say like prenatal is supposed to like help you grow hair. Maybe I'm growing hair at the same rate I'm losing it. I don't know. Um, but yeah, like that's, that was another one. Other than that, that's pretty much it. Um, I haven't been nauseous or anything, which isn't really like a huge surprise to me cause I wasn't nauseous with Riley either. Um, so that's pretty normal for me, I guess. Um, I don't know, that's it, I guess. As far as symptoms go. Um, cravings, uh, there was a minute there where I was craving kale chips like crazy. Like that's all I wanted was kale chips. Kale chips, kale chips, kale chips. Um, one that's kind of stuck with me is hard boiled eggs. I really like hard boiled eggs with mustard. Um, don't know why. <laughs> Um, but that's like a go-to snack for me recently, um, which is weird because that's never been like a go-to snack for me. Um, but yeah, aside from that, that's it, I think. There's not really, I get like cravings every now and then, but nothing that's really like stuck. Um, the kale chip stuck for a good couple weeks there though. Um, that's pretty much it, actually, I think. Oh. When we went to this last ultrasound, uh, I was in like shocked, shocked to hear that the ultrasound lady was doing her thing and she goes, she goes, there's two sacks in here. And I'm like, what? <laughs> what does that mean? What do you mean? Um, and she goes, yeah, there's two sacks here. Um, but I only see one baby and I was like, so what does that mean? <laughs> Um, and she was, she said that she thinks I had a diminishing twin pregnancy, which was a shock to me, um, because I'm adopted. I don't know any of my family, my side of my family's medical background history. I don't know any of that. So I don't know if my mom had twins. I don't know if her mom had twins. I don't know if twins were like a thing sometime down the road, um, or up the road, down the road. Whatever, um, <laughs> somewhere in that tree. Um, I don't know. If, I didn't. I have no idea. Um, so that was a shock to hear. The and kind of scary. <laughs> so now I'm like, well, if we ever get pregnant again, that could be terrifying. Thinking that there might be two, which um kind of made which it didn't make sense to me. But I was kind of like, maybe that's why I am so tired. Cause the exhaustion is unbelievable, insane, absolutely insane. Um, but yeah, as far as um, weight goes, um, just before this, I had lost a couple, a little bit of weight. Um, I'm lighter now than I was in my pregnancy with Riley. Um, with Riley, I gained a total of 15 pounds. I hope to only gain maybe 10 pounds throughout this pregnancy. 
And for some reason, I actually lost five pounds, almost six, since I found out in the beginning of last month. Um, I don't know how or why. Um, I've been continuing to exercise because I don't want to stop that. Um, I feel like it's good for pregnancy. I haven't talked to my OB, oh, my OB yet. I had my first appointment with him um, in two weeks. Yeah, two weeks. Um, so I'm gonna talk to him about that more and talk to him about like um, weight gain goals and what kind of stuff is safe and not safe for me to do and whatever as I progress. Um, but yeah, I plan to exercise at least five days a week throughout this pregnancy. Um, it, I might, you know, start doing a little bit lower impact and uh, I might tone it down a notch, but um, I do plan to continue to work out. Um, so I don't know, maybe that will affect the amount of weight I gain, I don't know. Um, I have no idea, um, but yeah. So I have my appointment coming up, like I said, in two weeks. So I will be almost, I'll be like 11 weeks, I think. Yeah, or almost 11 weeks. Um, but yeah, I plan to do, I wanna do these like updates every two weeks, maybe every week. I don't think, I, I don't think I'll stick to every week, honestly. Um, but I'd like to do them every two weeks. And I wanna do some like, vlogs throughout this pregnancy because I kind of want to document just like life and cute moments with Riley and um, things that was like pop into my head that I would forget by the time I sat down and got all awkward to film a video. Um, but yeah, we're expecting, uh, the due date is sometime early January. So like uh, according to my last cycle, like it's supposed to be like January 6th. But my cycles are crazy, so um, as far as like that, that's that when they tell you like based off your last period, that's that's like the estimated due date from that is off of a 28 day cycle. Um, my cycles aren't 28 days, so that's assuming that you ovulated in the middle of 28 day cycle. Um, so I'm thinking more like the 9th, 10th um, is closer to my estimated due date. Um, but yeah, so sometime in early January, we should be expecting a baby girl or baby boy. Um, and yeah, I'm excited. Jake's excited. Jake at first is a little like, okay, um, yeah. And then it really set in for him and he was like, no, I'm really excited that we're having this baby. And I think it's really, it's really hit him now and he's really excited. Um, yeah, obviously we've told over all of our family and everybody's happy for us. Um, my most, every, I think, I think most people think it's gonna be a boy. Um, I had a dream, funny, I had a dream that it was a boy and it was actually a really crazy dream. I had a dream that I wasn't even full term. I gave birth, um, it was a full term baby though and Everybody was dressing it up in Riley's old dresses and I was getting so mad. I was like, it's a boy Why are you dressing him in dresses and pink frilly dresses? Why are you doing this? And I was getting so mad at everybody because everybody kept putting him in a pink dress So I have no idea what that means um, But yeah, oh Riley's trying to get in Okay, yeah. don't put your baby down put your baby down so we can talk you ready? <gasps> So that means Riley's gonna be a big sister. Are you excited to be a big sister? Oh, Riley is the only one who thinks that we're having a girl. She says, baby girl, baby sister. I am. Huh, do you think we're having a baby boy or a baby girl? Baby girl. Baby girl. Are you gonna be the best big sister ever? Yes. Yes, you can be the best big sister ever. Are you excited about the baby in mommy's belly? Yeah. Yeah? I mean, my, my baby sister. Your baby sister. It might be a boy. What if it's a boy? Will you still love it? Uh. Yes. You're so sweet. <laughs> All right, so that's it. I will check back in like two weeks or so. Um, but yeah, we're pregnant. 
you show this? <laughs> Say look. That says mommy's got a baby. <laughs> oh, don't open it. Oh. <laughs> Say yay. <laughs> All right, bye. <laughs>